command I. So what command I does is gives you information about a specific a specific uh, file or document. So if you tap on it once and then you hold down the command and then tap the I key, it'll bring up an information window for that specific file. This one is um, enabling Zoom. So when this works, uh, when this becomes really handy, is if uh, you know you, you you have bad eyesight and you want to zoom in on something, or if just some apps are really small and you want to be able to um, zoom in on the app to kind of get a larger kind of viewing area for it. Some apps don't expand or stretch out. So uh, essentially the way you would do that is holding down uh, Option Command and then press F5. Okay, now this you only do one time. You don't have to do this every time. This is just to enable it. Okay, and then what we'll do is once you have that enabled, you'll tap Done. Okay, once that's done, uh, to kind of get that function going, you would hold down Option Command and then either Plus or Minus to zoom in. You know, this works anywhere, whether it's your desktop or any specific app. And now you can see that, you know, you can kind of move your mouse around. Then I, uh, items on the screen either become larger or smaller depending on what you need. And to return back to normal, you can just uh, hit Command, Option Command, and Minus until the screen comes back to its original, original state. Uh, these are uh, also very useful. Uh, command C, uh, Command C, Command V, and also Command X. So essentially, uh, copy and paste. So if you click on, let's say, let me rename this real quick, uh, test one. If you click on this uh, icon here over this file, and let's say you'd like to copy it, you would press Command C, and then Command V to paste it. So there you go, test one, uh, number two. So it'll either say copy or give you a number or like a two at the end of it to let you know that it's a basically a duplicate of that same file. Okay, and we also have the Command X. Let's say we open up Notes, for instance, and we'll go to, hello, this is a demo. If we're in, in the uh, if we're in like Notepad or like a text editor and you want to move something somewhere, you hit Command X and then you can click where you actually want it and then press uh, Command V to paste. So that's when, uh, usually with text applications, that's when the Command X works best. Next we have Command N. Okay, Command N. When you're in Finder and depending what application you're in, uh, it will do something different. So when we hit Command N, while we're in Finder, it'll give us a new window. Uh, let's say if we're in Safari, Command N will also give us a new window. Command Shift N, while you're in Finder, will give you a new folder. And you can rename it whatever you like. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Okay, now if we do Control Command N, while having, let's say, some items selected, Control Command N, it'll create a folder with the items that are selected. Okay, I don't need those in a folder, so I'm going to hit, uh, this is another shortcut, Command Z, which is to undo. And then Command Shift Z is to redo. All right, so we just hit a bunch with one stone there. Okay, another option is Command A. Command A selects everything in a given, uh, in a specific folder. Okay, and then uh, Command D will create a duplicate of uh, an item that's selected. Uh, so if you're in Finder or Safari, uh, you can uh, hit Command T, which will give you a new tab. So for instance, when that's, uh, if you're in, for example, a music folder, and you're in a, uh, wow, this is crazy. Okay. If you're in a pictures folder, this essentially will give you uh, the ability to go between, kind of the way you would in a web browser, between um, specific folders on your computer. Okay, this one is one of my favorites, a command a spacebar. So you hit command first, then the spacebar, and that'll bring up spotlight search. So you can search for anything from here. Uh, really one of my one of, one of my go-tos. 
Uh, another one is Command E. So if you, for instance, have a flash drive plugged into the computer, uh, you would click on that flash drive, hit Command E, and it'll eject it. Another one that, uh, that I frequently use is Command Tab. What Command Tab does is it lets you go through each uh, application that you have open and kind of uh, gives you a quick way to navigate to each one. Okay. Um, Let's keep going here. Oh, another quick thing about the Command Tab is while holding Command and Tab, if you uh, if you release the Tab key but continue holding the Command key, this window that you see right now will remain open. And if you want to quit something, all you have to do is tap the Q key, and then it'll quit out of that app. Sometimes you want to just close a window of an app, but not necessarily quit it. So instead of hitting Command Q, you can actually hit Command. W and that'll just close the window and you know that the app is still running because it still has that little black black dot on the bottom there so we'll just hit, we'll click on Opera for example uh, command window I want that app to be running but I just don't want that window there right now uh, minimizing windows uh, this is pretty much universal universal uh, so you can probably use it anywhere but if you command and then M It'll minimize the window to kind of get it out of your way. Uh, command R most of the time. Now let's uh, open up something like Netflix, for example. Uh, if you're watching something and it's frozen and not responding, all you have to do is hit Command R, and that'll reload the page. And this will work in most web browsers and most uh, most apps. Uh, this one is Command Delete. Uh, so basically. Uh, move something to the trash. So if you hold on the command key, press the delete, or the backspace key, whatever you're used to calling it, it'll move move that item to the trash. Uh, shortcuts, uh, sorry, not shortcuts, screenshots. Uh, two options, one is to take a, a kind of a confined area, and then the other one is to take a picture of the entire desktop. So the, uh, the entire desktop is command shift three, that'll take you an entire screenshot, and then it'll go to your desktop by default. And then Command Shift 4 will give you a little crosshair where you can take a screenshot uh, by clicking and dragging a bounding box around a specific item. I'm just going to show path bar so you can see what I mean here. Okay, so down here we have uh, a path bar. Uh, you can enable it or disable it from the view within Finder. And when this comes in, this next feature that I'm going to talk about comes in handy is when you're trying to go up a directory or down directory. So for instance, right now I'm in the pictures folder. As you can see, that's the last one. If I wanted to go back to my home folder or the folder that this folder is contained within, what you can do is just hit command and then up and it'll bring me to that. Or if I wanted to go back back down, uh, let's say for instance, a folder, let's open up album artwork. If I wanted to go back down a folder or up, you would hit command up then you would hit command down to kind of uh, navigate back and forth through those options. So that's just, uh, me, me, you know, if you're not doing too much file system stuff or navigating the file system, you don't really have to kind of worry about that one. Force quit. Okay. So force quit is option, command, and escape all together at the same time. Very useful when you have apps that don't want to quit or they're not responding or they're frozen. Uh, you can open up this little window here tap on the app and force quit and then it's going to say hey are you sure yes boom it'll quit the app and you'll know that an app is quit or running if you look down on the dock there's a little black kind of dot uh, so older operating systems had a, like a white glowing dot but the little black dot lets you know that the app is running in mac os sierra and this last one is an emergency one which i uh, kind of debated whether or not i should share it but if, if your computer is completely not responding, if you're hitting the power button, it's not shutting down, if you're doing uh, you know everything you possibly can to make the computer turn off or kind of restart and it's not, then what you can do is press shift control option plus the power button. That's a SMC reset, so uh, system management controller. Essentially what it does is cuts the power and completely kind of turns the computer off. Um, I wouldn't try that or do it unless it's absolutely necessary, but I know it's kind of like telling a kid not to push a button when he sees the button. 
So if you do decide to do it, just make sure you quit out of all apps that are opening, save any work that's being worked on because it will immediately shut down. It's not gonna pause, wait, delay or anything. The screen will just turn black immediately. Uh, so that's the majority of like the most used shortcuts and uh, quick kind of go-to features that I use on a day-to-day -day basis.